Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Let's talk about replacing existing workflows. You can use the replace workflow functionality to merge the latest version from one workflow into the version history of another. This allows multiple users to work on a workflow separately and then merge the resulting updates back. Use the replace workflow functionality in conjunction with workflow migration to create a workflow development and quality assurance process. On the workflow details page, select replace workflow. Select the workflow you want to replace the original workflow with and then select replace. Review the warning and select OK. If you replace this workflow, the original workflow will be deleted and replaced with the one selected below. Results from the original workflow will still be available on the workflow results tab. Are you sure you want to proceed? Let's click on OK. Your replacement workflow is now the latest version in the original workflow's version history. A packaged replace comment displays in the version history. This version is automatically published. On the workflow results page of the gallery, you can still access results from the original workflow. But be careful using the replace workflow functionality, because when you replace your workflow with another workflow, the replacement workflow versions are not preserved. All versions from the original workflow are preserved in the replaced workflow version history. All results from both workflows are preserved on the workflow results page. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.